Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to show you a very popular video transition that you can create in Adobe Premiere Pro. You can actually create this in any editing software that allows you to mask out objects. I first saw this video transition in the show Sherlock and since then I've seen this a lot in travel videos and music videos so I thought I'd make a video on it. If you guys want to check out my playlist in the description, I have a bunch of different tutorials on video transitions similar to this. And yeah, if you guys enjoy this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and let's get straight into it. So before I get started with anything, the hardest part of creating this transition is finding the right clip for it. So this effect is called the walk by transition because typically it works better if a person is the object moving across the frame. The first video has to have certain criteria. So the first criteria is the object has to take up the entire height of the frame. So you can see here, there's a person. It doesn't have to be a person. It could be a water bottle. It could be a stop sign. It's just a lot more natural if a person walks by and it's a lot easier to film someone in your neighborhood or in the city. Um, walking by the camera. You also want this object to exit the frame completely. So you can see it exits completely. Otherwise the effect isn't going to be complete. Also the second shot should sort of follow the movement of the first one. So in the first clip the camera is moving right and so is the second clip as well. So this just makes the transition a little bit smoother. So all you really want to do is mask out um, the background once the object enters. So right here at this frame, there's nothing. Obviously, there's no background, but we move one frame right. Uh, you can use your right and left arrow key to move one frame back and one frame forward. So at this point is where you want the second video to enter. And so all we're going to do is we're going to click on the first clip. We're going to go to effect controls. If you don't see it, it should be under window effect controls. Um, under the opacity, there's some mask options. I'm just going to use the pencil. And basically, we're just going to create some points. And we're going to do this for every single frame leading until the end where um, the object's no longer in the video. So right here we have it. We want to invert the mask and then you can see the results right here. You can also notice the edge is a little bit uh, weird because it wasn't exact. Uh, what you could do is you can just increase the feather, which basically increases the smoothness of the edge. With a fast paced video, you probably can't even tell. Um, you can also increase the mask expansion which basically, you know, makes it smaller or bigger, the mask. So you can see the more I increase it, the bigger it gets. This just makes it a lot easier instead of going back to the mask and changing the points. So once you're done the first point, you want to select the mask path. And if you're going to make any changes to the feather or expansion or anything like that, you want to make sure you set a keyframe for that as well. Otherwise, just keep the settings as is. And those settings will be consistent among all the other keyframes. So we're going to press the right arrow key and we're going to move right again. And we're going to keep going right and keep going right and keep going right. Uh, right now, the mask, it doesn't match up. I actually think it's a lot easier when you don't have the background clip. So I'm going to take away the background clip. And essentially what we're going to do is go through every single frame. And we're going to just mask out the background. This is obviously a bit tedious, but the final result is great. What you can do to speed up the process is you can kind of grab the entire mask and just move it right or left. This is only if it actually lines up perfectly. Um, and most times it will because the object is going to move left to right or right to left. But you can see in this instance, I'm still going to have to add some frames to the right side just because it's so empty. But it still speeds up the process. I don't have to uh, manually adjust these points. So I think this is the last frame right here. If you press the right arrow key, it's just gone. So um, the last one, we should be able to just finish it out and it'll just be black. And the reason it's black is because there's nothing on the screen right now. And so we're just gonna enter in the background clip and then you should be able to see the background clip, which is the second clip. So you can see here, it's a little bit sloppy. Like you can still see the top right here. So I'm, I'm gonna have to go back and fix it, but I'm just gonna enter in the background clip at this start point. So you should know where the start point is, where the keyframe starts. So I'm gonna go to the first frame right here and that's where I'm gonna enter it. So right here it starts and boom, it's gone. Um, you also wanna cut out the beginning so just like make a cut right there and remove the mask because at the beginning you don't need the mask. So it'd be like this. But it's so fast that you probably can't even tell it's there. Right, you know what I mean? Even with the flaws, I'd even adjust them. The last final touch you can do is you can press R on your keyboard, which is the rate stretch tool, which will just speed up any clip. So right here, if we just move it left, it basically speeds up that part. And we can do the same to the beginning of this clip. And what that does is just makes the transition a little bit cooler. So if I press play right here, 
this is what it does. I think this is actually a 60 FPS clip, so I can actually slow this down. So yeah, that's about it for this video. Uh, very simple tutorial. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. And once again, check the playlist in the description as well as the pinned comment for more videos like this. My name's Steven, and I'll see you in the next one.